Welcome back. It's time for our very first hot topic. President Bola Tinubu has signed four executive orders, uh, suspended uh, the 5% excise tax on telecommunications. He has also, um, also, it affects the import tax adjustment levy on certain vehicles, differs execution of Finance Act uh, customs tariff. Well, to discuss this as it concerns this 5% excise tax on telecommunications, I've been joined by Oladakbo Moses, former national president, Private Telecommunications and Communications Senior Staff Association of Nigeria. Good morning to you, Mr. Moses. Good morning, viewers. Uh, good morning, Nigerians, and uh, everywhere you are sitting. It's very good morning to you. And uh, I hope you are also getting the shower wherever you are. <laughs> is it raining where you are? Yeah, exactly. Which part is that? Where are you right now? Lagos. Which part of Lagos? <laughs> Which part of yes. Lagos? Ikorodu, Ikorodu, Ikorodu. Okay, all right, because. Uh, Okay, because Victoria Island, where we are, it's not raining. Okay, so let's get down to let's get down to brass tax. So, five percent excess tax uh, suspended for the telecoms sector. Talk to us about how this sounds to you and the people in your sector. Well. Um Sincerely, uh, this news since the time of the last regime has been confusing because uh, late last year, around September 22nd or so, uh, this was raised, and then the former Minister of Communication, uh, that's a pattern, mm. uh, objected it openly. Then the government also uh, issued another memo, uh, I think in March, that they are suspending the uh, implementation on telecoms. Because what it means is that currently we are doing our standards. Nigeria has a lot of data. Presently, a lot of countries are more cheaper than Nigeria in terms of data, services, phone call services, and the rest. So, um, funny enough, after the federal government had said they were suspending that uh, duty on, uh, on telecoms, the Minister of Finance uh, in April, April this year, I, I will share with it, came out again and said that uh, there is no exception and the tax is on hold. That said, it's a bit confusing because even till now, uh, it is not very clear either this has taken effect or not. Though um, a lot of people will tell you that there are changes in the charges to the communications, but because communication is part of our lives, you don't know. Uh, many people believe that, you know, when you get a value for service, at times you don't really check the covers, the naira that are coming out, that have been added to those services. Mm. So that's the confusion that is in that. Whether it's a good thing that the president has come out to do this, because one of the complaints of the competitors is that presently they've been charged, they've been going through multiple partitions. Mm. Imagine you lay your infrastructure, state government, government now charges for right of way, they charges you, you know, for installation, and uh, you know, even some uh, on, on on conventional security, on license of still charges the workers, and so with this, that those are part of the uh, complaint of former minister that there is very much taxation in that industry. So very not for our because the government wants to make money. It's like a check of crippled industry. So does this? Does this executive act give you some sort of clarity as to what this means for your sector? Although it's been yes. aptly captured as suspension, it's a temporary suspension. But does this give you, it's a temporary relief, does this give you some sort of clarity as to what this means for your sector? Yes, yes. Um, suspending or total scrapping is a very good, yeah, it brings clarity. Like I said, the confusion has been a problem before now. So the president coming in to suspend it is good. But what we encourage him, what we want him to do is total scrapping. Though one of his message 
in his inaugural uh, speech was that he's going to stop multiple taxation. Mm -hmm. So we believe this is one of the things And uh, we welcome him, welcome him to scrap it totally so that uh, Nigerians can, you know, uh, presently Sudan charges the cheapest, you know, uh, mobile data in, the, in Africa. So that presently we can come as low as that. We have the population. So the smaller we charge, the more some, some people will also come on this data. It will interest you to know that despite Nigeria being look like uh, all of us are tech savvy, mm. uh, a larger percentage are still not able to come on. Some are because of charges, some mm. either because of the phones and all that. So we believe that uh, they are expecting now, the president coming up now to stop the confusion of the past regime. That is fine for us, but we encourage him to scrap it totally. Because just like you do for imported uh, spare parts to make sure that it is reduced for government. So we believe this will also encourage telecoms and bring more business for telecom and more competition also. So what does it translate to for the consumers of telecom services? Especially this three, yes. this short so, period of the suspension. Yes, uh, it, it does a lot for the subscribers. Like I said earlier, presently in Africa, um, Sudan charges the least. Algeria followed, and if you look at penetration, uh, uh, telecom penetration in those countries, it's very high compared to us here. Because you know, when uh, we have the numbers, we have the population, and uh, by far so far, Nigeria should charge the least because the numbers will balance up the gate. So for the for the subscribers. I want to believe that telecom companies should make this reflect. Because sometimes last year there was a little dip, a little, a little, a little surge in those prices of, of communications. So like I said, people really don't really care for it now. But uh, we want to care because it will be interesting to be able to connect the remote villages, your grandma, your great-grandma, and come online with them and talk without break, without rushing your discussion, and then also for them to also cover the banking part of things. So that at the end of the day, we can also widen the banking gap. The telecom gap will widen the banking gap. So it's a good thing for subscribers. And we want the telecom operator to now make it reflect. If it has been before, the former minister of finance said in April, we are now it is suspended. We want it to reflect. We want prices to come down. So I'm more so what, what do private telecoms and communication senior staff association of Nigeria, what, how do you uh, push for things that would benefit the consumers? So I, I, I can't get it to plan. How would you push? You're asking for this to reflect, you know, how do you push as an association? How do you push for this to reflect beyond talking about it? Well, I, uh, I don't know, maybe the, the, the weather is really affecting the, the voice now, oh, but okay. I have all the telecoms. Like I said, I, I'm, I'm a next president of telecoms. I know. Texan. Yeah, but you belong uh, to an association that I believe is strong. How do you use your association to influence the reflection of these deductions, the removal of these deductions that you're talking about? Okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, Texan is not the only industry uh, trade uh, union uh, in the workers' union in the telecom sectors. We have Nute, we have two or three other registered trade unions. Uh, and at times, most times, we often exchange notes in this. And uh, we also ensure that, uh, though mostly Texan deals with the workers' right, that is the workers in those telecom companies. Okay. So, we, but we have other pressure, like at San, that are work on the consumer's part of it. You know, there are two things now, the worker's part and the consumer part. Texan major role is to protect the right of the worker in those telecoms. Oh, wow. 
it's become a little bit very difficult, in fact, very difficult to hear him, um, perhaps because of the rain where he is in Ikorodu. I don't know if he's able to get back to us. Um, Mr. Moses, can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. I can hear you, though it's, it's a bit faint, but go ahead. Okay, no, just go ahead and conclude what you were saying. You protect Yo, the I workers, can, can, not the consumers. Yes, yes. Texan did with the right of the staff, of the workers, mm -hmm. in those companies. So we fight for those workers to get better welfare, to get their correct income, and to ensure that they are not terminated wrongly. So, but we have other partners like Axan that deals with the consumer angle that ensure that, like, this is happening at work. They don't provide to companies to ensure that worker abuse as consumers are not touching, that they get real government. I think mean, every part that is going on on, on the exercise tax, they pay the data prices, the core prices should not be paid. So we have a partner that does that. And we have different meet with them to encourage them to terms. We get this bad and quality at the right price. Okay, so you see this executive act that, you know, suspending the 5% exact tax, do you see it as a palliative that should be applauded? Yeah, some sort of palliative if, the, if it is done rightly. You know, Nigeria like is a foreign nation. You know, it is this nation that uh, you get a reduction globally. For example, look at Petroleum, for example, our, our uh, unsubsidized petrol. We learned last week that uh, prices are coming down. And uh, unfortunately, our first station are raising prices. And when you want to buy, they will tell you that they have no stock. But when prices go up, they don't have no stock. Mm -hmm. So the subsidy will only work if the telecom operators implement this immediately mm. and not tell us they have both talk. Actually, it is a, it is a, <laughs> it's a business of the head. There's no meat in there. But we don't tell us they have both talk. You understand? Yeah. So let them implement it so that we can fill the subsidy. Who, 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 you just talked about the association. We can fill the <laughs> yes. So who, how do we see who ensures that they implement this immediately? Who ensures that? Uh, Is it the government? Two things. Uh, we the workers, two things, yes. We, we, we the workers union, the NLC, mm. and others. We must the The workers, the, the consumers association, like I told you, at Adsan. Yeah. We also mount the website. Unfortunately, we don't have a minister now yet for that ministry. All right, so who ensures that this new policy, this suspension of the 5% excise duties is implemented by the telcos operator so that the consumers get to enjoy it, especially since it's a temporary relief. Um, we are not able to conclude with this discussion because of uh, bad uh, network as a result of the rain over there where he is in Ikorodu. But we do appreciate your time. Oladakbo Moses, former national president, private telecommunications and communications senior staff association of Nigeria.